Hi everybody, welcome back to my 100% walkthrough of Assassin's Creed 3. On this video we are going to be doing Sequence 8 Memory 2, Bridewell Prison. So if you remember last time around we chased Thomas Hickey, we caught him, but now we've been put in prison for a counterfeit, counterfeit charge. And look who's in prison with us. You, you missed me sweetheart. What? Nothing to say. If you are here, then Washington is safe. True, true. Thing is, I believe I've just been pardoned. Thank you kindly for the rescue, gents. There can be no further mistakes, Thomas. Am I understood? What about this, the assassin? Yeah, he's here. They put him in a cell right next to mine. Guess we didn't get them all, eh? Deal with this, Charles. At once, sir. What are we gonna do? You're that boy from the Continental Congress. Adams's little lapdog. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Yes. Two birds with one stone. Do tell. All in good time. It's not like the assassin's going anywhere. For now, we should see about getting you better accommodations here. What are you on about? I thought I was getting out. I'm afraid you won't be leaving for a while, thanks to Benjamin Talmadge. He's been running his mouth, saying all sorts of things. You're being investigated for plotting to assassinate George Washington. What a bunch of bollocks. I thought you was going to handle that. We'll discuss this... Elsewhere. Okay, so we find ourselves in the cell now. Just to point out, this is part one of that mission because there's lots of cutscenes in it, and uh, it would be very long if I was to do the whole mission in one go, one video. So this is part one. Part two will be in the next video. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to eavesdrop. He's planning to escape. We should get in on him. Yeah, and what makes you think that? Caught him carving something in the yard. Slipped it in his pocket real quick when he saw me. Looked like a key. Probably just a shift. Nah, Mason ain't a fighter. Always talking and tricking his way out of trouble. Weasel weems, they call him. Stinky bastard. Come on, Finch. He's not so bad. He even told me some letters once. Gonna write a note to my lady. <laughs> What for? You think that whore's out there pining for you? Saving herself for when you get out? Huh? No doubt she's already moved on to the next fella, and the fella after him. You shut your mouth for I shut it for you. Easy now. It was just a joke. Yeah? Well, it wasn't very funny. Okay, so once you've done that, go back to your bed and go to sleep. Trouble, or you'll wind up in the pit. Okay, so you gotta go down, you gotta follow the guard, but you gotta follow him at a distance, I think, because if you don't, he pushes you around, so do the other guards. It's a real pain. They'll shout what abuse you at you as you go. Breed? Like that. You not understand English, that it? When we get down the bottom, we're going to be looking for Mason Weasel Weems. He seems to have an escape plan, right? So we get the search circle and we've got to look I for him. I should try and find this Weems fellow. If he intends to escape, perhaps he can help me. But he's the only one sitting at a table. And there he is, he's that one there. Mason Weems? Could be. I need your help. Oh? They say you know a way out of here. 
They say a lot of things. I do not have time for games. A shame. As I was hoping you might play one with me. Fine. Are you familiar with the rules? Okay, so we have to play a bit of Nine Men's Morris, but you don't really have to win or do anything. Just put Seems your beat you buttons on, line. and then we'll talk. What's your name? Connor. Pleased to meet you, Connor. Well played. So, what brings you to Bridewell? Treachery. I have been falsely accused. Of course you have. You do not believe me? Why should I? You have the look of a brute. <laughs> you misjudge. I am an honest man. Just keep and playing. Also a man imprisoned. Tell me how you found yourself in this place. It is a private matter. As is what you ask of me. I was trying to prevent a murder. Oh, anyone I know? George Washington. The others put you up to this, didn't they? Thought it might be fun to have another laugh at Mason's expense. Fools, a lot of them. To make light of something like this. George Washington is brave beyond measure. Loyal like a brother, Peerless in character and unshakable in his convictions. That man is our Jupiter Conservator. Destined to lead us not just to freedom, but greatness. Anyone who says otherwise is either a simpleton or a traitor. Then you understand why I need to get out of here. If I don't help him, he is going to die. You're serious, aren't you? Very well. It's going to take some doing. See, everything hinges on the key I forged. That loud finch stole it. it took me three months to make the thing, too. <sighs> you need to get it back, or we're not going anywhere. Consider it done. Okay, so there we go. There's a lot. That's a, that's a long um, discourse with Weems. But bottom line is we've got a pickpocket Finch and he's up another set of stairs, I think. Yeah, he's at the top. So we're going to go up the top one and just pickpocket him like we pickpocket anybody else. But try not to be seen doing it. There we go. Got the key and now head back to your own cell. Which is over across the bridge. And wait and see what happens. This key is useless. What are you looking at? You in the market for us, Bin? Okay, so the key didn't work, and we're going to go and talk to Weems about it. Your key is useless. What do you mean? It did not fit the lock. It's not meant to. You forged a key that does not work. Well, that all depends on what you mean by work. It'll get us out of here. Just not the way you expected. Then how? You're going to use it to get the real key off the warden. You have to swap yours for his. Why not just have me take the real key? Why all this extra work? You might notice if it went missing. This way, he'll be none the wiser. And when he tries to use it? He won't. That's why we're targeting him. How do I reach the warden? 
Yes. This next part, you may not like. Oh, as if I've liked the others. Out with it. You need to pick a fight. What? Pick a fight, and they'll throw you in the pit. And how in the world does this help us? The warden oversees the pit. Getting sent there is the only way to reach him. I give you credit. You've given this plan to risk my life a great deal of thought. Take down as many as you can. One or two will only serve to entertain the guards. You need to make them angry. We all have our part to play. <laughs> Try not to die. Okay, so that's Mason. So we're going to have to start a fight with these guys over here with the red dots on them. And if I always break, use the break defense on this. Whenever you block, don't try and counter. Use the block break defense. It, break the defense, keep punching your way through it. One left to do. And now we get the guards stepping. Fancy yourself a troublemaker, eh? Some time in the pitch to cool your blood. And that's it. That's where we are gonna end this part one of the video. The guy comes forward and talks, but we'll deal with this in the next video. So thank you very much for watching, and until next time, it's bye for now.